I'm a man, I gotta take care of my family Take care of my least precious in my life This is Mist from msr.co.uk And today I'm going to be showing you how to create simple water effects in Valve Hammer that will show the texture underneath so it looks quite nice so I'm using my map from my last tutorial which is to create a basic box room with player spawns it's nothing special but it's okay for tutorials so if we create our block of water so I'll just copy the floor just to make it easier and we resize it to how big we want it so I'll just do a little tiny block in the center of the map I'll just make a nice wide block of water. Now I'm going to go to map snap to grid because I don't want it to go all the way through the map. I just want it to be slightly shallow. So there we go. You can see this green line where my cursor is. That's where the floor is. And where this red and yellow line is, it was where the water will end up being. So if we go to tools and carve, if I just delete this quick, you can see there is a, a shallow indent into the map so now that we've got our block we'll resize it just underneath there and this will be our water so we'll go into textures and we'll give it a no draw texture and then using the texture application tool we'll select the top layer we'll go into browse and we'll go into water textures and I'll just choose a simple what was it I used? Inferno water I think it was I used it on Bunny Hot Mist we'll use that and then we'll use an entity called MCube Map we'll place it above the water we'll select on the, the properties and on brush face we'll select the top of the water apply and we're done that is our water now following on this I'll render the map and because my screen recorder doesn't like recording full screen applications such as Counter-Strike Source I will add screenshots in instead of actually recording it so this is Mist from msr.co.uk